So what I'm going to hopefully sh show you this time is you should see a PowerPoint. OK, fantastic. I'm not going to make it big. Now, this one again links into Key Stage 2, but also comes into Key Stage 3 and potentially for use in Key Stage 4. So this is about collecting decibel noise in a particular location. So getting your pupils out around their locality, collecting sound levels. OK, now to do this, you will need, as it says here, you will need a smartphone. Most of your pupils will probably have one. OK, you need two apps. We will need Decibel X, which is a free app for collecting decibel levels. And then you will need either Gridpoint GB, which is the iPhone version app, or OS Locate, which is the Android version. Now, what these two apps are, are they are location based apps. So they will find and pinpoint a location for you. So wherever you're stood, you should be able to get the six or ten figure good reference of that particular point. So we can use those. So they look like this. So grid point GB on the left here will give us a ten figure good reference point. Uh, Kim's just asked, can you use iPads for the same? You certainly can. It just as long as you I've got I've used a decibel X on my iPhone, it works perfectly fine. So it should work on your tablet. iOS locate is the, the audit survey version it only goes down to six figure, but what it does gives you is the altitude and height of a location as well. So you can factor that in. And decibel X looks like this, and it will just literally record the decibel level of where you're stood. So you've got two ways of doing this. So you, each pupil could record a number of places around their location. So they could maybe pick three or four places in their locality, a quiet, what they think might be a quieter point, a, a louder point, et cetera, et cetera. Simply take a screenshot of where they're stood and a screenshot of that particular decibel level. Or alternatively, what you can do is maybe you could get each pupil to record one and then put them into a spreadsheet for your whole class looking at then who's got the noisiest location for our pupils. So you can collate them all into a spreadsheet. So to use a spreadsheet in Digimap Schools, you will have to create a spreadsheet that looks something like this. So it needs two columns in it. One will have to be a location-based reference. So in this case, it's grid reference. And then the second one, it has to have a label. So I'm going to suggest you put the decibel level in. And if you want to record each individual pupils, you could put their name against the decibel level so you could see which one is for which pupil. Now, importantly, guys, this has to be saved as a CSV file. This is the only type of file that you can use in any kind of software. So you will need to find a CSV or save it as a CSV file to be able to do this. Now, there is the option on that. There's a help button at the top of the page when we go back into Digimap for schools in a second. And in that help location, you will find all the help files. And to show you the different reference points, it will tell you under add your own points, all the different location formats you can use. So let's jump and show you that. So I'm just going to. So let's refresh my page. So the help pages are found at the top here, guys. So we can come across to the help page. And we can see these key areas. So where it comes down to add your own data, like I said, you need two columns. This will talk you through how you can do it. So you can use postcode, Easters and Northings, British Grid Reference and Latin Longitude. So it will walk you through how to make your particular spreadsheet. So what I would do is I would actually load my spreadsheet up, but I'm going to cheat and show you the one I made earlier. OK, so I'm going to come down and see if I can find my map. So this time what I've done is rather than use a map, I've used the aerial image because you've got an aerial image option as well within Digimap for Schools. So I've got my daughters to thank for this because they're the ones who ran ran and recorded all the all the um, decibel levels for me. So you can see the points at where they were stood. So that's my spreadsheet. So in my spreadsheet, there'll be a geo reference point for this one at 79.4, one at 54.2 and so on and so on. Put them into your spreadsheet. Upload it using the add your own data tool on the left hand panel and it will automatically geo reference those points on your map so you can very quickly and easily using that spreadsheet collect that information and put and 
show it on your map. So we can look at the decibel levels in and around where I live. So maybe while your pupils are still at home, which is a, a nice one to do before they go back, is maybe get them to collect the sound level maybe tomorrow. And then maybe look, have a look in two or three weeks time when we have some sort of return to normality and there's more traffic on the roads. Can you see a difference between the decibel levels? But this is definitely something you could do in the school grounds as well. So you can go to the different areas of the school ground. You can say, we're gonna to go to the different corners of the school ground, record those noise levels, what do they sound like. And if we come back maybe in September, what will they sound like in September when hopefully normality is returned? Now, you have other options as well for different things you can save. So you could do things, I've suggested um, sound levels, but you could also do maybe uh, wind speeds. You could do temperatures. You could do rainfall. So you've got lots and lots of ways you can use that within your own school grounds. And a way you can do this as well for you key stage four, three and four pupils out there. Quickly going to show you a map. Hopefully you'll be able to go out and do your field trips later in the year. So this is an example of a field trip using those two apps, uh, use, sorry, using Gridpoint GB and collecting an information in a spreadsheet. This is actually my daughter's key stage four trip to um, even Beach down in Hampshire. And what we did here is I recorded the points where they were stood and they had to record the sand heights against the groins. So it's a really nice field trip element for your key stage four field trip. And then all we've done then is we've shown those on the map using that spreadsheet. So a really quick and easy way to be able to do that. Uh, so Army has just asked, can we print out the maps with grid references? We certainly can. We can come up to the grid, uh, to the printing tool at the top here. I can click on print. You can print anything out within Digimap for School. So the current mapping, the historical mapping, aerial imagery, anything you overlay information on. You can give it a title, a name, you can give it a scale or an exact and a rounded scale. It will create, you can create it as an A3 or A4. What it actually does, it creates a PDF or a JPEG. So it creates a file that you can save somewhere else on your machine. And you've got the additions here. So we can add a legend. And if you're in Great Britain, you can also add the grid lines. Okay, so we can click on that and add the grid lines to our map. So we print this out, we will get the Eastings and Northerns around our map as well. So you get those options.